What is up, Pyromaniacs? Pyrostasis here. I do want to apologize first off before we get into this video. Uh, I'm overcoming strep throat right now, and my voice is terrible. That being said, I want to show you guys a very quick trick that's going to sh make your life a lot easier early on in Sky Factory 3. Um, in Sky Factory, you use a lot of sieves, and you do a lot of sieving. Uh, something that you just literally can't get around. It's going to be hours and hours and hours. But... There's a way to make it a little less painful that is kind of unique to this version. Now you can see I've got compressed dust here. Now this is a heavy oak sieve, so we're running compressed dust through it. If I hold right click here, you can see you know kind of how it moves through. It takes a couple seconds to do each pack, and it's it's not the fastest way of doing it. Well, unlike normal Sky Factory 2, 2.5, you know, Sky Factory the original, and most other Sky Blocks, there's no rate limiter on the amount of times you can click this per second, which means if you use an auto clicker, you get something that looks like this. You can see it burns about one a second, which is a pretty drastic increase in output. Now, it's still gonna take you a while, but it's definitely not gonna be as bad as just sitting there and clicking it normally. One of the other big uh, kind of time sinks in Sky Factory is when you get around to growing your crops, you have to sit there basically and just hold right click and water these things forever. It's kind of a pain in the ass. Same thing with the sieving over there. If you turn on an auto clicker to spam right click, you can see that the particle effects massively increase, and you can see we're growing crops almost instantaneously. The other nice thing about this is as we're just spamming right click as opposed to holding right click, you can basically just run around and pick up the essences as it's going. Now keep in mind, if you can barely run the game as is, if you do this, you might, you know, crash your computer, you might uh, close Minecraft. Um, it does drop me from 350 frames a second to about 120. So if you have kind of a low-end PC and you don't already have particles, uh, you know, turned off, you might want to do that. You can do that in the video options down here. You can go to particles decreased, and that'll make it a little bit better. And I, whoop. Wrong auto clicker. Uh, I believe you can also go in and completely turn them. Well, I think minimal about it is the best it can get. Yeah, and at minimal, you can see we don't have any particle effects at all. So that makes it a lot easier for your computer. Now, uh, to do this, you are going to need an auto clicker. Please do not just jump on the internet and download any old auto clicker that you find. It's a great way to get a virus or malware. Um, personally, I recommend either using Razer Synapse, which comes with a Razer mouse, or using uh, some form of gaming software like uh, you know Logitech mouse software, Logitech keyboard software. Use something you know official, name brand. Don't just use some ghetto version off of a website. Most likely, if you're playing video games, you've already got an auto clicker. You know how to set up a macro, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, but both of these I expect to be fixed probably in the next couple weeks. Um, I would strongly recommend you utilize them while you can because Bacon Donut and or Dark Osto will get these sorted out really, really quickly. But anyways, hopefully you guys found this helpful. If you did, please slap that like button. Make sure you subscribe. And I'll catch you guys in the next clip.